Hi everyone, this is Perry from the Hampton Network. Uh, so I just want to go over a couple of news topics today and I also want to discuss uh, some updates. Well, they're not recent updates. I mean, they may have happened in the last couple of months with Coinbase. So I'll kind of take you to Coinbase and show you uh, what I think uh, has, has changed and it's actually for the better. Uh, also, um, I possibly may go at the end of this video and show you my uh, upcoming uh, buy orders that I have uh, placed uh, for Bitcoin uh, based on the, the, the prices and what the technical analysis and the fundamental analysis tells me that it may or may not go down to. So uh, I'll go ahead and get started here with this uh, first news article from CCN about, uh, you can see the title here is the IRS knows all about your secret Bitcoin trades. So it goes on to say the only thing that's certain in life is death and taxes. For buyers of Bitcoin and other cryptos, the latter has come as the IRS is now pumping out an avalanche of notices to more than 10,000 cryptocurrency investors who probably haven't been up front about their trades. So the information, they're getting this pretty much from Coinbase because you know uh, <clears throat> when you create an account with Coinbase, you, know, you have to do what's called uh, KYC, uh, know your customer. They'll probably ask you for some government identification and you, know, you have to link your accounts to set up an account. And Coinbase is actually regulated, which is why I like it uh, uh, by the U.S. So they can easily get that information about your, your Bitcoin trades uh, uh, from Coinbase. So I know last year <clears throat> when I did my taxes, I actually included all of my cryptocurrency uh, investments and trades, not just those for Bitcoin, but actually all cryptocurrencies. Uh, so that's I'm not worried about it. I haven't received a letter from the IRS. I don't know if I will, but even if I do. I'm, I'm fine because I've already filed my taxes and they did include my uh, cryptocurrency. So now one other thing I want to point out, they say the IRS is most interested in Coinbase accounts whose transaction history exceeds $20,000. So if you have less than $20,000, you may or may not have anything to worry about. But either way, even if you have a, a few hundred dollars or maybe a thousand dollars invested, you should be including this on your taxes. Uh, you know, uh, cryptocurrency and Bitcoin is taxed as property. Uh, so just make sure you're aware that when you, you know, if you have your, your CPA or your tax uh, attorney, I actually used TurboTax last year's and year, and that's why I, how I was able to, you know, report my Coinbase transactions uh, in TurboTax. So I highly recommend make sure when you do your taxes, make sure you include your your, your crypto uh, currency. Okay. Uh, so I'm not even going to read the rest of this, but I just wanted to just let you guys know about the. Uh, IRS is pretty aggressive in, in contacting folks uh, regarding crypto. So we'll move on over here real quick. Uh, Mike Novogratz, he's a CEO of uh, Galaxy Digital. Once again, he's kind of predicting that uh, we can see a twenty thousand dollar Bitcoin. You know, hopefully by the end of this year. So you know, he had an interview with Bloomberg on July twenty fifth, where he mentioned that it could, you know, go back to its all time highs uh, at the end of twenty nineteen. Now he's made predictions before. And one thing you guys got to remember that no one can really predict uh, the market. Uh, you know, technical analysis is good for probabilities, letting you know what could happen, but no one can really predict it. Uh, and having said that, I want you to know this is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. Make sure you do your own research. If you're going to uh, get into this uh, cryptocurrency space, just make sure you do your, do your own research. And once again, this is not uh, financial advice. So I, I tend to agree with uh, Mike Novogratz here uh, regarding, uh, you know, a twenty thousand dollar Bitcoin by the end of the year, based on all the fundamentals that I'm seeing, and and the technicals. Uh, he also goes on uh, further to mention the Facebook Libra, which has really, really <laughs> gotten a lot of folks interested in cryptocurrency, and you know, especially since Facebook, you know, has over two billion users. So that is good news about Facebook Libra. They, you know, obviously it's not approved, but that's something that they're working on. So I just want to kind of share that with you about Mike Novogratz. Also, I want to show you the Fear and Greed Index. And all this is, and I'll put links to, uh, to these uh, stories in the description. Uh, so all really the Fear and Greed Index is, is, as you can see now, it's at 47, so it's kind of neutral. So the higher this greed is, you know, you could probably expect a correction. Uh, the lower the index of 47 is pretty low. This to me is, is a good signal, you know, that you may want to, you know, it means, you know, uh, the investors are, you know, they're, they're, they're fearing the market, uh, which means it might be a good opportunity to buy. So just scroll down here and see what they have to say. So right here, 
So extreme fear can be assigned to investors as a two word that this could be a good, so that could be a good buying opportunity. So when the two greedy, when this number here is high, then that means the market may be due for a correction. So I just kind of wanted to point that out to you guys. You can, like I said, I'll leave the links in the description below. So backed, uh, backed um, is the uh, is, is a subsidiary of the Inter uh, Intercontinental Exchange and the Intercontinental Exchange, they actually own the New York Stock Exchange. So backed is looking to, um, you know, open a futures platform uh, in Q3 this year. Now, I have to say that this has been delayed. I mean, my gosh, probably, <laughs> I don't know, five, six, seven times. I mean, so no one knows if it's really going to go live on, on Q3. But basically, this is where they'll build a futures platform. that will be based off physical. It'll be based off physically approved, you know, the actual asset, which would be physical Bitcoin. So they're still waiting to on the approval from the New York Department of Financial Services. So if the NYDFS here approves their warehousing service back to go live, this will be great news uh, for the cryptocurrency space. And I certainly would expect, you know, a lot of the cryptocurrencies to, to start pumping and, and, and become much higher. So just want to kind of throw those stories out at you. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please put them in the uh, description. I mean, in the comments below. And also, if you you, know, you like the video, please uh, like and subscribe. I would certainly appreciate it. it. Supports the channel. So let me go over real quick to Coinbase. I'm actually logged in here into my account in Coinbase. So it's a couple of things I want to point out to you that hadn't always been there. I mean, these changes may have occurred in the last. Um, I don't know, a couple of months, maybe two to three months. But one thing I want to show you here, they've added in, so I'm going to just select Bitcoin here. They've added in some great uh, market indicators. And, and what I mean by that is the top hold activity here. <clears throat> They're saying it's a 69% chance that folks are buying. These indicators were not always there. And if you hover over this, it'll give you, you know, a little bit more about what it is. So that just tells you how many people within Coinbase uh, is, is you know, buying Bitcoin at this time. Typical hold time for Bitcoin, 86 days. And it's also the popularity. It's the number one most held uh, cryptocurrency on Coinbase. So these are some good indicators. Uh, so one thing, let me go here to trade here and show you something else. So this is where you can buy Bitcoin, whatever, or sell it. But one thing I want to point out is two things. This convert option here, let me go back to buy. And this right here is where you can make a one-time purchase or a recurring buy. You could set up your recurring buys, which I, you know, if you're able to do that, I suggest you do. But let's go to convert. And all this means is you can convert Bitcoin to Ethereum, or you can change it to vice versa. You can convert any of these coins into Bitcoin or the other currencies. So I kind of just wanted to, you know, just point that out to you just so you could see that. So now uh, I like to keep my video short, and this is basically for beginners. So let me go over to my, pro, my Coinbase Pro account. And I have, um, as you can see, you know, for complete transparency, I have, these are my buy orders that I have set up for Bitcoin based on the fundamentals and the technical analysis that I've seen. And as you can see, I have a buy set up for 9,200, 0.02 Bitcoin. I have another one at 89, one at 87, one at 85.50, and one at 8,500. It may go lower than 8,500, possibly, nobody knows. If it does, I'm going to set another buy order below that, but I'm going to wait uh, until that price starts uh, to drop uh, before I do that. So with that, I'll go ahead and uh, close this video out. I want to thank you guys for watching. I certainly hope you have a good day. If you have any questions, uh, please comment below. And if you like the video, please like uh, and subscribe. You guys have a good day.